Now, Kenya's export earnings from tea grew to over 180 billion shillings in 2023, thanks to a favorable exchange rate to the dollar. The Tea Board of Kenya also says production improved during the year, achieving an output of over 570 million kilograms of green leaf due to good weather conditions. And as Dennis Otieno reports, the government has vowed to tighten reforms in the sector, even as it aims to guarantee better pay for farmers. A weaker shilling and higher tea volumes ensured that the country's top export earner finished the year 2023 on a high. According to the Tea Industry Performance Report by the Tea Board of Kenya, export earnings hit a record 181 billion shillings. This represents a 31% rise in value of exports when compared to 138 billion shillings realized a year earlier. The earnings came on the back of a weaker currency, which saw the shilling lose ground against the U.S. dollar for a better part of the year. Total export volumes increased by 16% to reach 523 million kilograms. Pakistan remained Kenya's leading export destination, importing nearly 210 million kilograms of the commodity. Egypt, UK, Russia, UAE and Iran also accounting for a significant chunk of the exports. Overall, cumulative output for the year was higher by 7% to stand at 570 million kilograms. The good crop was attributed to continued favorable weather conditions during the period between April to December. The Tea Board of Kenya, however, reckons the sector is facing several challenges, which include tea prices, low earnings by growers, exploitation by middlemen, and poor corporate governance. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, who presided over the report launch, urged stakeholders to withdraw court cases, which he said were hindering implementation of tea reforms. Court cases have frustrated reforms in the subsector. And in Kiricho, we did agree with all the stakeholders that they will withdraw the cases before court to allow the reforms to be beneficial to the farmer. Some have, unfortunately, others have not. I want to call upon all the stakeholders who mean well for the Kenyan farmer, who genuinely mean well for the Kenyan farmer, to please withdraw those cases and allow these reforms to be implemented fully for the benefit of the Kenyan farmer. Despite the challenges, the future of Kenya's tea as a major cash crop remains promising. It is for that reason that the government is keen on securing more markets, both locally and internationally. Denis Otieno, Citizen TV, Nairobi.